Today showing you something really special, how to turn your MacBook's trackpad into a MIDI controller, into a DAW controller or a keyboard. Hey guys, good morning and welcome to the vlog. Today is another exciting day in my life as a DJ and producer. I just found out two very exciting things. The first one has to do with my MacBook. I found a website where they describe how you can turn the trackpad into a MIDI controller slash keyboard slash DAW controller. That's something I'm definitely interested in trying out, so stay tuned for that. The second thing that is even bigger news for me, I just checked my mails, I just checked my stats of my label. My We Runnin' song hit more than 100,000 plays on Spotify within the first month, which is just so amazing. Again, thanks to all of you. This definitely needs to be celebrated in, in two ways. <laughs> And of course, celebrating it with my favorite Nutella for breakfast. And then just heading over to the studio, checking out this, this trackpad thing. Oh yes, it's again this time of the year for the pop-up forest. I am original. I just love that smell. So welcome to my studio, the program that I'm using to turn this magic trackpad or the trackpad on my MacBook into a MIDI controller, keyboard and DAW controller is called Audio Swift. This is not affiliated, sponsored, I just found out about it this morning, just wanted to try it out and share it with you. It might be good, it might be useful for some of you, for some not, it might suck, it might work. I don't know, I just want to give it a try because I think the concept is quite interesting. I think this could be actually quite useful, especially if you travel a lot, if you have a very small studio or if you do collaborations a lot on other studios and you can take your gear with you, having a little bit more control over your DAW is definitely always helpful. Installing it is extremely simple. You just click onto free trial. You can use it for a couple of days for free. It costs $24 and there is a discount of 30% up until the end of this year. You just download the file, double click on it. It then installs like a small widget in, in the top bar of your Mac. When you get it installed, you will see this little icon at the top and with show console, and with show trackpad you can view the things that are necessary for this plugin and this here shows you your trackpad and the locations for the different things on your trackpad if you press on your trackpad with four fingers it will activate it if it's on or off you will see here it's indicated by the blue color it also shows you your DAW of choice for me of course logic at the moment it's supporting logic Ableton Live and Pro Tools and also every other DAW if you just use it as a MIDI controller it sends a MIDI signal to your DAW, just certain functions are only available with Logic, Ableton and Pro Tools. But it says on their website that they're working on making it work on any DAW, so just download it and see if everything works for you. Once you activated the trackpad with holding down four fingers, you can always press escape to deactivate it and just use your mouse as you would normally do. Four fingers again, it's activated. <laughs> Then your mouse isn't moving, but you then can start controlling your DAW. Whenever you hit the right down corner where the star is on your trackpad, you can choose between different modes. This one right here lets you control ascent, go up and down, activate and deactivate it. Choose another channel by going left and right. If you hit it again, you can control the master fader. Again, you get into a jog wheel modus where you can scrub through your track. Now it's time as every day to just work on music. I will try it out see if I can incorporate it into my workflow because at the end that's the most important on paper in theory it sounds really nice I think it's useful especially when you travel but let's see if it's actually handy to use and if it's any faster than just normally using your trackpad to go to the place and change it Don't get too close. All done with work, all done testing this new magic trackpad MIDI controller thing. There are a couple more modes that I discovered when you press one, two, three or four while you're in the mode where it's activated. 
you can actually toggle between and the first mode that I already showed you where you control your fader and your sense and you can toggle here with the star between the modes. Then there's mode number two where you can control drums for example. Mode number three where you can play individual MIDI notes. And you can even select the, the scale it's playing in. Mode number four lets you control two axes for effects, for example, and some plugins. All of this really works. It works as advertised. It works as it should, as I imagined it to work. There is really no problem. You just activate it with four fingers, deactivate it with the escape bar, toggle between the modes with one, two, three, and four, or the star on the trackpad. But there are, of course, downsides. Some obvious, some of them are not so obvious. So let's get into those. First up, of course, the most obvious, the biggest limit it's limited by the trackpad by the magic trackpad that you have externally or the one in your MacBook this right here is just a plain surface that doesn't give you any haptic feedback it's not a knob it's not a fader it's not a pad there is no triggering or anything it just really doesn't move at all it has this nice click feel that I really think Apple nailed it feels like you're really pressing down on something but it's just like a vibrating motor that makes you think it is moving but except for for the clicking there is no no feedback at all there is no pressure sensitivity all of these things of course do not work the second downside is a really personal one I don't have as you can see see a lot of controllers or external synthesizers. I just don't like using these things. I started making music 10 years ago in the box because I didn't have the money for anything else. And now whenever I buy an external synthesizer, a pad, a controller or anything, I at the end just don't use them. I just do all of my drums in, in guys that's like a step sequencer i just program them in there it just works if i want to play anything i got this big keyboard here right in front of me whenever i might just work on the macbook i've set up this key right here to always have the music keyboard available i can just play the notes right here i can even play chords go up and down an octave so this really covers all of the keyboard functions that I need whenever I'm traveling just with the MacBook. I still think this plugin is a great idea. The execution is just perfect. Just try it out. See for yourself if you can integrate it into your workflow. It's at the end up to you if you like using the trackpad. I think all in all it's a solution that you should just use when there is no other solution. So if you're traveling a lot on the train, on the airplane and you don't have a lot of space, you don't have one of those small controllers and you're happy with just using the trackpad of your computer, go for it, try it out. It's definitely something that will be useful for a lot of people. The website and everything that has to do with it is linked down below in the description. Let me know if you tried it out, if it's something that you think is useful, or if you think it's not useful at all. Let me know what alternatives you have. Maybe you have one of those smaller controllers or you're also using the music keyboard in Logic. I think that's really something cool. I just discovered it because I was using GarageBand years ago just to try it out. And that's the standard way to input MIDI. All done with work for today. Whoa. That's not good. Still works. There are actually two more things I'm really looking forward to. One of them is of course the daily giveaway. And the other one is something I'm already waiting for almost half a year to finally be able to share it with you. So let's head back home, a little bit of dinner, wait until midnight and then do one of these late night sessions. Okay, time for the late night session. If you don't know, late night sessions is me sitting here way past midnight, taking care of business stuff, trying to whisper and not wake up my girlfriend. Speaking of her, earlier today, she decided for a name of a car and also picked the winner for the competition. Nutessa. Why? Because you really love Nutella and me. So it's Nutella and Vanessa. Yes, it Nutessa. is. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's good. What's the name of the winner? I don't know. <laughs> okay. So congrats to or whatever you won the, the mixing. Please just get in touch with me and we will get everything sorted out. The next giveaway is free mastering. Just subscribe, enable notifications and leave down below a comment and add to the comment hashtag mastering. And the other big exciting thing I'm already waiting for so long is finally being able to share with you the release by the Romantic Era, the second one. The first song with two hands was a huge success. And now it's finally time for the second release. As you might know, 
know they're a team, a collective of eight, nine people from the US making electronic music all together, also performing it live as a band. They make extremely interesting music in different constellations. So sometimes someone else is singing, someone else is doing like the beat, the production. I don't know how they do it with so many people, but it just sounds amazing. So please do me a favor, support these guys, listen to their song. The link is down below in the description, the very first one. It's a very well-made track that I already teased a couple of times in the vlog. So just go there, check it out, support these guys. They definitely deserve it. And that's pretty much it for the rest of the night business stuff. Don't forget to like, subscribe and tune in tomorrow. Tomorrow is an exciting day. I have special guests in the studio. And I'm also DJing, which always leads to a very interesting vlog, depending on how much I drink. We will see. You will find out tomorrow. Ooh, no.